What's going on, YouTube? You're back with the Shades. We're continuing our Let's Play of Lucid 9. Last time we left off, we're still going on amusement park rides, and I think you're going through that entire list. That's a long-ass list. But, all I'm saying is, um, but I was thinking to myself that, um, this is a bunch of happy-go-lucky, light-hearted shit. Sorry, guys, I'm just gonna do something real quick. Just check my notifications to make sure I don't have anything. Because, again, I'm on my phone. I'm recording this face cam on my phone. Um, uh, so, I'm thinking that, like, after this, all of this, it's just gonna be like, it's, it, shit might hit the fan. Cause, uh, that's typically what happens. Like, it, it's a series of good things. And then just, like, like one giant bad thing that, like, overtakes everything. So, I'm a little concerned. In the upper left, I see team portraits that light up as each member speaks. Hmm, looks like the site code comes with comms. There's also a, a map, health count, ammo count, and location notifier. Except, I'm missing a bullet? Meh, whatever, doesn't matter. Whoa. These are stunning. Ooh, you gotta get me one of these. Present presently, a hum watched over a large chamber with walls that came to life. In images of the Academy Cafeteria. Whoa, a live simulation? Lendiscate is truly ahead of their time. Let's get to our positions. Despite her brusque words, her face is open, is open in wonder. Seems like she also she's also a fan. As you have to replace, the intercom cuts in with a mechanical-sounding female voice. Welcome to the field, blue team. This is a standard capture the flag game. Best of one. Your lemons get sight codes to display your health. Let it fall too far and you shall be disqualified for the rest of the match. You should also note that your ammunition is limited. Use it wisely. As Akira and Misaki split our, ba our, our base on the rooftop, Elizabeth motions to me at, the, at a corner at the per perimeter. Ooh, are we going to make out? Stuff it! This is the, the way to their base. I quickly get to the minimap confirm our claims. When the game starts, we go together, but cautiously. Is it better to attack from two different directions? Who is captain again? Oh, I see. You do want to make out. Stop. Stop it, bloody gallivanting mug off your trolley, stonking great ego. I can only grin at our intercom flickers to life. All players are within their team zone. The game will begin in 10 seconds. Cheerio to you, good chap. 8 seconds. I say it ought to be jolly good show. 5. You're right, knackered I am. Yama, you called your highness. She pauses for a moment, clearly struggling to keep a hold of herself. Do you know why I put you on salt with me? To make me miserable? Because, for some reason, the tiniest part believed that you might be actually be great at it. Her words freeze me to the ground. My mind runs a blank. I can only stare at her in disbelief. Zero seconds. The match has begun. I don't bell rings through the room. Elizabeth turns her attention to the corridors. Let's go. He's, she stalks to the courtyard, even as I follow her. My thoughts are a jumble in my head. Great at it? Great at anything? How could I be great at anything? I can't even do anything mildly well. Great? And why would Elizabeth tell me so? The girl hates my guts. The girl who guts I hate. Why would she say that I could be great at something? Stop. She throws out her hand and collides with my chest, sending a rush of sparks up my spine. Quickly step back, shaking the feeling off. There, Yuhiko Ikari. I turn to see where she's pointing. Yuhiko was seated on an artificial ledge, his gun in his lap. <laughs> How foolish, he wouldn't even be able to shoot back. Guess you better take care of him. I swiftly raise my gun, but Elizabeth slaps at my hands. Hold your gun properly. Excuse me, your highness, I didn't realize that laser tag had rules of combat. It can only- oopsie. It can only help your accuracy or go. She raises her own gun, her voice lowering to a concentrated whisper. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to hit the space bar so many times. This is interesting. It's fun. Steady breathing, proper stance, and grip are important, but a good trigger pull is what I can make it or break it. Her posture shifts carefully after gunning someone down was a common occasion. With laser-like focus, she finally moves her finger to the trigger. One sharp flick of the and the trigger clicks and Yahiko immediately jolts up, hands flying to his goggles. Yo, somebody shot me! Hmm, sh that should have been a fatal shot. Laser tag would really would be really short with fatal shots. That would be useful and shoot something. I obligingly poke my gun out of the hole and fire blindly. Haha, -ha, there you are! Not what I had in mind. You have a mind? Shut up and run. We race through the obstacle as we as shots around all of us as shots down around all of us. All of us. Finally, we find an out of out of the way corner where we pause to catch our breath. Right. Now we must have a new plan. Such as, the Haku is the only person on defense, and we passed no intermediaries on the way here. Paired with Mah Masato's personality, it's likely that the three people are on assault. So Masaki will be overrun. They probably have the flag by now. Oddly enough, I can respect her at the moment. She seems to know what she's doing. Well, where does that leave us? We have to kill them on the way back. Akira, come in. What's your status? Akira! Right, their comms must have been shot before they could alert us. We're on our own, Yama. So what's the plan? 
You take the red flag and sprint back to our base as soon as possible. I'll hold them up while I can. But that's suicide. She draws her chin up and gestures to the entrance. Then it'll be a worthy sacrifice. Now go and don't look back. Every passing second is a second wasted. The pulsing warble of laser guns draw closer. I obligingly dive around the corner and scoop the flag into my arms as Elizabeth screams. Long live the resistance! Maybe she's taking this a little too seriously. Hey, that's what makes laser attack fun. When you take it super seriously. Well, I guess it's up to me to get the flag to our base before Masato gets back to his. I was sprinting at full pace, winding through the simulated campus as I hear Elizabeth goading the other team into chasing her. With the flag in tow, I haphazardly make my way back to the base. I've only got so much time before Elizabeth is shot. I'm hit. Looks like Masato actually left someone behind his guard. So we're just in time to see a small figure diving behind cover. Crap, my health is at 50%, or at the very least, I've still got a few chances left. Admittedly, laser tag would be pretty boring if it followed a one-shot, one-kill system. My group on the pistol tightens as I peer out from my little refuge. I line up my aim so that if the guard emerges, I have a chance to take him down first. I can't react fast enough. Neither of those shots hit when the guard darted from cover to cover. Four shots left, and it feels like I, could hit, I couldn't hit them even if my gun was full. I'm down to 25% health, maybe 20 meters away from capturing the flag. All of Elizabeth's hard work earned work, too. Ah, screw it. I charge toward the back table, ignoring the danger behind me. Standing around like that is just going to get me killed. I dive behind the nearest place of cover now that I hear enemy's laser pistol blare to life. Let, it's down to the wire now. Final chance, right? I stand up, blindly firing the remaining shots at the figure who's just a few feet away. The figure drops their gun to feet as a dead icon appears above them. I'm dead. With that, with that I replace their gun on a nearby bench, pulls out a peach to munch on without a second thought. Apparently getting killed doesn't mean much. That was somewhat anticlimactic, especially given how lucky it was to have shot her despite me, me firing haphazardly. Beggars can't be choosers, though. I promptly plant the red flag on our stand. It glows in response, and after a second of humming, clicks into place. A clear high tone brings the game to a close. Game over. Victory to blue. The hell? <laughs> Please exit the room. But I got the flag! Please stop arguing with an artificial voice and exit the room. <laughs> that's amazing. If it, was actually, if it was actually made to do that, that's kind of cool. Masato's grumbling is prominent, but I know his dark ship's converging on the exit. I better follow them. It takes a few moments to adjust to the building, to the blinding sunlight. Still, everyone seems to be fairly happy, except Masato, of course. We're the rightful winners! Well, we would have been if someone didn't go wild on a wild goose chase instead of returning the flag. I was gonna, as soon as I caught up to the trash talker, I mean. Then you probably shouldn't complain. Amongst the commotion, I noticed that Elizabeth is strangely quiet. I was expecting her to gloat with her victory, maybe toss in a few snappish better than thou comments here or there. But she's just standing there by the map, a fair way look in her eyes, and as her lips pulled into a smile. Well, it couldn't be helped. We had the best leader, you know. I bet Yama took charge. Oh no, we were led to victory beneath the banner of the wise Elizabeth Oshiro. She came with the fancy tactics and everything. To everyone's surprise, Elizabeth blushes slightly and lowers her head. Really? Good job. Thank you. Some of those simple words feel more like a, feel like more than a compliment. Yeah, yeah, let's keep going. I'll get my revenge. Oh, I'm counting on it. Thankfully, the conflict feels teasing rather than biting. I return to the map with a smile to pick up the next destination. Are we doing all of them? Because this has just like been like every part was just like two events. I mean, I don't mind, but this could be all of them. Excuse me. Bot fighter. Uh, hmm. Let's do it in order then. Hey, look at that! A tech promotion! He points excitedly at the map, reading in a loud, clear voice. Grab a group of friends, see into each other's phones, see the truth conquer the world! <gasps> that just sounds all layers of sketchy. Alright, guys, I'm back. I don't know why I'm peaking audio, but whatever. I'm just gonna take it. I'm not crazy about that idea. But. But think of how much power you can have. If you know what everyone wants, you can be the most powerful king on the planet. He runs excitedly before I can call it a vote. Exasperated, I turn to the rest of the group. Are we really doing this? It's sponsored by the park. It's bound to be safe. We'll have the opportunity to see some state-of-the-art tech. <clears throat> the park doesn't concern me. I don't know if they'll have to deal wisely with the proceedings or they'll land in some deep tr trouble. No, I'm far more worried about what our group will do with the information they get from one another. Oh shit. We drop into a tight, tidy air-conditioned facility following on Yahiko's heels. The area is full of common commo commotion, primarily from other young adults laughing, shouting, and quickly trying to embarrass each other with freshly gathered dirt. Hey everyone, guess who Yahikiko likes? Shut up! Yeah, what exactly is this exhibit about? 
Giko's already chatted up, up, up one of the attendants. He returns to his office in a few minutes, bouncing eagerly on his toes. Okay, so here's how it works. We each have an opportunity to do a little digging at each other for a few minutes. Then we engage in an ultimate battle of wits by running a campaign for dictator of the world. Whoa, slow down. What exactly do you mean? Well, we use the information we learn to convince each other to vote for us, like we can blackmail each other or some kind of promise. Uh, wait. What? How will we do that? I've just met some of you today, after all. Oh, don't worry, Nikki. Usually, lend us kit phones are really advanced security features so that they can't be hacked. Only visible information is what users want to share. Yeah, like, the, like, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they'd like us to believe that, wouldn't we? Well, guess what? Here, we can choose to lower that security and look at each other's phones. Location information, browsing history, usage statistics, even message and call history. All at your fingertips. What part of this sounds fun? Are we even speaking the same language? Well, in that case, this sounds interesting. I thoroughly agree. Ha! Ah, got nothing to hide. Sounds pretty part. Sounds like a party and a half. Glad. Guess that settles it. What's going on? Don't they understand the danger? Is everyone sadistic? I'm reminded of the time when Yahiko wanted to jump off the roof to test if he could fly with umbrellas. Him and his supposedly brilliant ideas. I said some quiet thanks to whoever decided to build the pool straight below the railing. Um, guys. Sweet, Misaki. Would you mind altering, alerting the fine lady of our decision? Misaki obediently runs off and grabs the attendant, who starts to outline the rules. The first phrase of the game would involve 10 minutes of concentrated research, all firewalls down. Everyone would look into another's phones. I mean, personally, I don't have a lot to hide on my phone, so, uh, yeah. The second phase of the game would involve utilizing information in an attempt to gather a following of minions. What exactly that entails, nobody knows. It's probably intentionally vague to leave a room for, to leave room for, for interpretation. God, I can't read. It sounds like a game that around as fishy as the technique it's using, so I seize the opportunity to sit back and run the timer. I'm curious about what my friends might be hiding, but enough to sacrifice my own privacy. Not enough to sacrifice- Alright, are we ready? Yama's being a party pooper, but aside from that, we're good. Embrace the future, Yama. This is ide the ideal of technology. So I'll stick with pen and paper, thanks. Huh, <laughs> are you an old man? You don't even use the pen and paper. I would if I had the pen that worked. You can always, I don't know, buy one. Now, why would I do that? Oh, come on, let's just get started. Yama isn't going to join us. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Despite the climactic setup, the group proceeds to simply squat down and scroll rapidly through their phones. The silence is brief. Only a few seconds pa pass before Mis Misaki's face drops in horror. Akon's Akon phones? Why would you? Who would bother purchasing an Akon phone? Just beside him, he erupts into glee. Ha! Huh, I knew it! I was right all along. Interesting, come to think of it, Misaki and Yahiko would be the best at gathering information. They know their electronics inside and out. Masato, on the other hand. Damn, I can, can I use this for anything other than, the, other than phone calls? Rui and Akira aren't having much more luck. Where do I start? Is it a search history? Purchase records? <clears throat> None of that stuff is juicy. Where are those questions about the meaning of life? Iria says, as always, I have no doubt that she can secure the information she needs. She seems very capable in that regard. The prompt for her will be presenting that information in the right way. Five minutes. Already? Uh, let's see, yes, uh, yes, uh, definitely. Yeah, I shall rule the world. Why ain't anyone else using the running app? Grover Mecker, Grover Mecker, three of every, three things every girl wants in a guy, Grover Mecker. <laughs> my phone buzzes in my hand like a miniature death knoll. Time's up. The group explodes in a frenzy, practically lunging at each other with streams of words that sound like presidential campaign statements. I'll, um, throw lots of festivals if I get elected. Sorry, I'm not interested. Are you and your friend fighting over a guy? What would make- Oh! <laughs> I was right. I was totally right. What would make you say that? Your search history. What would you do if you like your you, you and your best you like the same guy? Love triangle solutions. How to stop, like... I... Knew it. She's trying to be a good friend, though. Good on her. It's drama club research, I tell you. It's a regular pattern. Search every few months this last year. The most recent search was... We have the white flag of surrender. I concede. You have won this day. I smiles with innocent satisfaction as Akira registers her fingerprint for an official counter. So blackmail is an acceptable way to gather minions. Just not just not just fictional promises. Wait, what did Irene mean when she said like the same person? Misato, join me and I'll advocate for track. You think I'm that easy? Hell no. Misato, can you pretty, pretty please join me? I'll advocate for track. Uh, well, uh, okay. What? Looks like personal preferences have a large impact, too. 
Eventually, my eyes land on Yahiko. In this setting, he's usually granted great egotism, gives him a nice sheet of confidence. In fact, he seems to be doing better than everyone else. Say, Iri. We get elected to make video game class mandatory in the academy. And just like that, she registers her fingerprint. What? Of all things, video games? Rui, if you join me, I'll give your childhood friends a special legal status. Deal. What does that mean? Wait, what would she? Why would she want that? What kind of legal privileges could you even award to childhood friends? Masato, my man. If you think gonna be, I'm gonna be easy, man. You got another thing coming. I already a huge fundraiser for track by using a special access to Lemnus Kit technology. And another fingerprint registration. He goes knocking everyone out like bowling pins. Elizabeth, I'll make Yama take private tutoring for the rest of the semester. Well said, you've earned my vote. Elizabeth, I'm both shocked and not shocked at all. Wait, wait at this rate, Yahiko will be the winner. Akira, I'll provide lessons on love in... Don't say it! Take my vote! Take it! His last opponent is Masaki, who has also been disturbingly productive in the campaign game. She greets him with a smile. I'm not easily overpowered. Neither am I, Masaki. Shall we draw our swords simultaneously? A duel among dancing cherry blossoms. What is this, a samurai flick? Though, yo, that would sound epic, though. They crouch forward, slightly like they're gonna, like they're going to physically lunge for each other's throats. A moment of silence passes between them, even as the others in the groups continue campaigning to one another. Then Misaki and Ika both burst into action, practically screaming at the top of their lungs. Cooperation with mandate required vacation time for employees with families. Social security redefined parental negligence. For a moment, they only stand there, equally surprised at the other statement. Vacation time, parental negligence. Why do I suddenly feel like I know nothing about them? They couldn't be prowling around, right? No, just from their expressions, they're completely serious. I shouldn't be surprised. They're bound to be a lot of stuff that I don't know. My friends have their own lives, and I have mine. In fact, they probably don't have any idea how Shikure and I know each other. That's fine. Some things are none of their business. Some things are none of my business. It's all well and good. They, but it still really bothers me. I know it's childish. I know that I, I made myself stay out of this game. No one kicked me out. I could just learn just as, about as much about he, Misaki as Hiko did. Really, I have no one to blame but myself. You struck... You struck your strike found an adequate mark, son of Ikari. As did yours, daughter of Kazehaya. You have trained well. All right, the samurai duel is going on. However, I can see it's your blow found a vital organ, while mine only made its mark on a limb. I can see this round. She presses her finger against his phone to register her print. The moment she does so, a tone sounds by the attendance booth. Congratulations, Yahiko Ikari. You won your election unanimously. All seriousness melts from Yahiko's face, replaced with shining pride. Am I a dictator now? You are. Oh boy. Really, I thought I would feel more awesome. Well, you get a prize. One free year of Lem Cloud Premium. A year? Jesus Christ. That's awful. I don't know what that means, but it costs Masaki to stand bolt upright and lean forward in anticipation. Clearly, she's regretting that she conceded. Oh, thanks, but I already have permanent free premium. What happens when you're a son of two rulers? Actually, when I think about it, it's really likely that Yahigo is the son of some influential people. From the sounds of it, people who work at Lemniskit. He has an insane number of shoes that are all designer brands made in Italy. He's attending the academy without any scholarships, judging from his grades. And he doesn't have any financial worries, or life worries in general. Maybe he's really the son of some higher-ups in... Maybe he really is the son of some higher-ups in Lemniskit. I'll take it. Then go ahead. She eagerly retrieves a gift code from the attendant as the rest of us are ushered out of the door. Well, that was serious. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Elizabeth seemed refreshed in the activity. Rui looks like she enjoyed herself. Akira and Masato, on the other hand... <laughs> There's always a tomorrow. Hell yeah. And they're fine. Manipulating people doesn't seem to be their kind of game. Actually, what surprised me most was Yahiko did so well. Not only was he efficient in his research, but he knew which arguments to use and how to present them. Say, Yahiko, you haven't go you haven't gone to, I don't know, prep school or anything, right? Prep school? You know, where you learn etiquette, politics, how to talk to people. Or more specifically, how to manipulate people. Hey, why would I do that? My natural genius is enough. It's one of the many advantages of being born in Ikari, my dear minion. My blood is superior. Right, I'm sorry I asked. Sorry, I'm here. Should we get going? She looks pointedly at me like I'm supposed to decide our de next destination. Wait, am I? Uh, well, no one else in the group is budging, so I guess it's up to me. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this part here. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me or from the series, hit the subscribe button. And you're not exiting the Shady Verse. My name is Shades, and I hope you've enjoyed. Your day in the shade. See you guys later. Bye-bye.